Hi, this is Randy from Friday's Golf, and welcome to Over Easy. Now, in this week's episode, I have a couple exciting things that I want to share with you, but before I do so, I want to address the title of this video, because obviously, I don't have 100,000 subscribers, I wish. Now, when I started this channel three years ago, I had no goals in mind. I was just a golfer that had a video production background, and I was like, hey, let's take the two and put them together. And since then, I have made tons of content. I've had a great time doing it, but it was never like, what can I turn this into? Can this be a potential career? How can I make money from this? It was just like a hobby for me. It's like, I have an idea, I wanna make it come to life, and I wanna share it with you guys. I never tried to tie anything to this channel to try to, to make a living off of it because you guys know for the past 13 years I've worked in a golf shop now the past year year and a half it's been part-time because I actually got another part-time job working in a production studio here in town which has been absolutely amazing my background my college education was in film and now it finally feels like I'm pursuing that career at the same time this channel has started to expand to the point where it's like you know I want to see how far I can take it now now the hundred thousand subscribers that's always been like the end goal for me. I want that silver plaque that says, hey, you've reached this benchmark. Peter Finch just posted a video uh, last week, which I think did an amazing job of telling you what you have to do and the steps you have to take in order to make a successful golf YouTube channel. One of the things he mentions on there, which I think is very important, is that he and other golf YouTubers are able to uh, use their YouTube channel to facilitate their teaching and, and, and other businesses. I don't have that aspect to this channel. I made a decision very early on that I wasn't going to tie it into golf retail. I'm sponsored by no one. I take zero dollars from anybody for this channel. The only revenue that's created on this channel is from YouTube advertisements that you see at the beginning or end of each video. But other than that, nothing. And that's my decision. I, I made that decision because it, it felt like if I started to take money from people, then I owed them something. Then I, I, I it, this channel was no longer 100% mine and I, I didn't have 100% say in what goes on if I started to take money from an outside source. Do I wish that I was a, a teacher or that I had the patience for teaching in order to, to to pull lessons in from these videos? Absolutely. That's only helping the game. It's helping the retail side, it's helping the course side, and it's just overall a positive impact on it. I unfortunately, I just, I don't, I never ventured down that path because I just, I don't have the patience. I tried to give my dad a lesson one time when I was 12 years old and I knew right then that if I ever ran into a person like that, I would quit immediately. And I wanna reach 100,000 subscribers. I wanna reach that benchmark. But in order to do so, you need to invest more time and more money into your channel because the time that you're spending creating that content is time you're not working and you still have to pay bills. So a lot of you have suggested to me to join Patreon. For those of you who don't know what Patreon is, it's like a fan funding website where people can donate money to small time creators to help them realize their dream of becoming full time YouTubers. Maybe down the road, I'm not ruling it out, but I wanted to think more creatively about this problem. It's like if I want to generate revenue for this channel, how can I do that? So I sat down and thought. And while I was thinking about that, my phone rang and I, I just so happened to have turbulators as my ringtone on my phone. The G30 driver's got turbulators. And that was kind of that moment of like, hold on a second. I have all these tracks, all these songs that I have written. A lot of you have asked me like, where can we download these at? And it never like crossed my mind to take them and, and compile an album out of them and then post that out there to share with you guys. So I've done just that. So I am excited to announce that for the first time in history, there is a golf rap album on the internet available to you. It's on iTunes, it's on Google Play, it's on Spotify, it's on Amazon Music. It's pretty much anywhere you would wanna buy music from. Whatever song that you want, you can buy them individually, you can buy the album, but please know that 100% of those sales are going back into this channel. Second thing that came to mind is it's time to make new t-shirts. First thing I wanna do is thank each and every one of you who purchased a Friday's Golf t-shirt or a Scuba Steve t-shirt off of fridaysgolf.com. I told you that I would give half of that to a, uh, a charity and I did. I donated it to a foundation here locally that helps bring the youth into the game and that was amazing and I thank you guys so much for that. That was such a good feeling but this time around on this batch of shirts, 100% of the profits are gonna go back into the channel. So you can go on to FridaysGolf.com now and pre-order 
these shirts. You have the Beverly Hills logo, which all the new shirts now are gonna be a 50-50 blend. I have a couple of the fried egg shirts left over, but even these are gonna transform into the 50-50 blend. But you have the Beverly Hills logo shirt. You have the Ace Hadouken shirt, which I feel like is gonna be like my new favorite t-shirt now. And last but not least, the Tree 50 shirt. Last thing before I go, I wanna share something hilarious that I saw yesterday on Instagram. Um, Quentin, if you're watching, if you can turn off the video now. Okay, now that he's gone, Quentin made something extremely funny. He posted a story on Instagram, which uh, he's never done before. He's not really that active on it. It was a course vlog and it was hilarious. Check it out. So, do a little course vlog. Instagram story style. A quick update, um, there's a pond behind the second green. My ball's in it. If you've noticed, I have the purple lenses in. Just optimizes the vision. It's really what makes a great golf game. Nope, it's a good swing. That was not a good drive. Not even a little. Check this out. So, there's my ball. I have a shot at the green. If I was, <laughs> if I was here, it wouldn't be good. Or if I was, come on, come on, you can do it, come on. If I was here, it wouldn't be good either. That's actually a scary little shot because, like, there's the pin up there, but like right behind it is the road. If I would have hit it long, I would hit into a car. I, it was just, it was terrifying. I left it short. So this hole kind of goes down and then around the corner. Uh, what I thought the play was, because the wind's going left to right, let's go up over those trees and just land it on the fairway. So I thought that was perfect. I topped it and put it right there. That is a pink true viz. For sure. Here's a freaking pet peeve of mine. Like, I'm playing, and I, I, you know what's the best part about playing a course for the first time and not knowing the layout? I was walking to my next hole, which is up there. It's actually not. Not in golf course shape. Or in shape at all. Number 16, par four, 295, and it's just uh, straight away, so. Like I said, pretty straight away. Um, I'm gonna see what's over here to the right. Alrighty, so just a nice little 70 yard shot to the green. I decided to hit it 90, thought that was a better idea. Uh, newsflash, I don't have any touch yet. Last hole I had a very downhill putt for birdie. Birdies are overrated, so I putted it off the front of the green. Now we're on number 13, uh, short little par four, hit driver, straight down the center. Surprised me, surprised everyone. Here we are, let's make an eagle. Yeah, or part. I'm, I'm okay with the part. <sighs> Drive, center of the fairway. Four iron, just front of the green. Eight iron chip, perfect, just short of the hole. Putt, lips out. <laughs> it's golf, you know. Mother I know I dog on Quentin a lot on this channel, but I sincerely love making content with him. I think he has a great personality. I think he's brilliant in front of a camera, and I think he brings a lot to this channel dynamically. And in the future, uh, with some of the funds that I raised from either the t-shirts or the album sales, I would love to travel to where he lives now and, and make some videos with him and even have him come to Beverly Hills with Brian and take me and my dad on in a, in a course vlog. I think that would be absolutely brilliant. And Quentin, if you didn't turn off this video, I was kidding, it wasn't funny at all. So thank you guys as always for all the support. I appreciate everything you do for this channel. If you do want to support it further, please check out the Friday's Golf album. If you really want Turbulators as your ringtone, you can find it now on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon Music, Spotify. It's out there, go find it. And also hop on fridaysgolf.com, pre-order your shirt. And until next time, I'll see you later. Anyone on here who uh, follows Fried Eggs Golf, Randy, uh, you should pressure him into doing a course vlog with me. He's just scared to play me. You can see it in his eyes. He's totally scared.